undenied the church is suffering less than expected much more than expected the church is suffering the christians are suffering more than sinners hello welcome to damascus tv please kindly subscribe almost all the bank in the nation belong to sinners almost the best hotels belong to those who don't go to church Marriott, you know who owns it. You know the owners of Marriott. Mormon. They own Marriott. They make millions a day. Millions a day. Billions a year. I have not seen one hotel yet where the proprietors speak in tongue. If there are, maybe very few. And if there are, it's going to be very small. Because Christians don't believe in big things. They serve a big God and do small things. And that's an insult to God. Because the devil is not as good as God. As a matter of fact, there's nothing good in the devil. And there's nothing bad in God. And with God, all things are possible. And all things are possible to him that believe it. I write that. I say, I say me. I, am, I can become a possibilitarian. I can stop failing and start succeeding if I can change the gear of my faith vehicle if I can stop driving backward and start to drive forward if I can accelerate in the front if my own gear can move to the gear of the speed of faith of believing if I can stop talking downward and start talking upward if I can start to say the good thing and not the bad things anymore. If I can stop singing poor songs and begin to sing faith songs. If I begin to call myself a child of the living God. Instead of a child of failure, of disappointment. If I begin to look unto God instead of looking to my country. Because the, gov the Bible did not say the government shall supply all your needs. The Bible said my God, my own God, the one I serve shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory and when i read that place according to his riches in glory i knew that there's no poverty in glory somebody say hallelujah if you love god i know some of you love caricature message but i don't have one you're looking for messages that say hold on the lord will soon come <laughs> be patient with your suffering when jesus come you're no more going to suffer he said love the devil from hell Jesus became poor that we through his poverty may become rich. Yes. Jesus died that your suffering might stop. Yes. Jesus became the one that paid price for my sickness and disease and sin. And many times we have accepted the God that forgives sin. We, forget, we forget and we refuse to accept the God that bless people. And when we see somebody prosperous in Christianity, you begin to think, is he still a Christian? As if the symbol of righteousness is iniquity and setback. The sign of holiness is not poverty. As a matter of fact, poverty is a disgrace to God. Because God's word said in 3 John 2, I wish above all things that thou, say me, may prosper, be in health, even as my soul, prospered. Somebody shout hallelujah. Don't only prosper in soul, prosper in spirit, prosper in job, prosper at home, prosper in business, prosper in town, prosper everywhere, prosper in the name of Jesus, prosper. Somebody say hallelujah. The Bible says you shall be the head and not the tail. The Bible says you shall be a lender and not a borrower. The Bible says you shall be blessed when you go out. I said you shall be blessed when you come in. You shall be blessed when you lie down. Yeah. You shall be blessed when you rise up. Yeah. Say, I'm blessed. Yeah. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Yeah. Take the curse out of your head. Remove the curse from your head. Stop only liking bad things. What a shame when Christians hear their sales in, in, in Kmart, they are the first to be there. Sales, Jesse Penny, they are the first to be there. Sales, in any more, Christians are the first to be there. Why? They don't believe they, they deserve good things. They are only qualified. They are poverty-oriented. They have been taught 
the poorer they are, the nearer they are to God. Whereas poverty is a disgrace to God. How can your heavenly father have everything and you have nothing? How can your God be Alpha and Omega and you are nothing? How can your God say, the silver am I, the gold am I, the thousand cattle on the hilltop and the hill where the cattle is standing belong to my God? Yeah. And you have nothing on earth. It's a trick of the devil for you to think. The poorer you are, the holier you become. That's not true. I say that's not true. 